what is up everyone this is kiran here welcome back again to tech kiran youtube channel pixel extended based on android version 11 is officially available for this redmi note 8 i have already installed this bit on my redmi note 9 pro i already made a video on that one pixel extended for me a tool device is officially android version 11 this time it's available for redmi note 8 it's perfectly fine after using from a lot of time the bill seems to be really good the battery backup and a lot more things in this video i'm going to share with you it also include some customization this is pure pixel but also include some customization so this looks really good which are the customizations you get here some features everything in this video stay tuned let's get started here it comes pixel extended based on android version 11 the pixel extended version 2.2 which is actually which has the December latest security patch which seems to be really good here Quicksilver kernel is pre-installed so the battery backup is quite good I have tried that and I'm gonna show you the battery backup also guys let's start with the home screen first of all whenever you boot your device for the first time you'll see this kind of wallpaper as your default wallpaper but it has some problems as you can see here the lags the live wallpaper is not compatible with this device so it's not recommended at all after you do after you boot your device for the first time what you need to do is just hold here go for styles and wallpapers and apply any other wallpaper for example i'm gonna apply this wallpaper from here click on ok click on home screen lock screen and it's done that's why we applied this wallpaper because the previous one which was the live wallpaper was quite laggy i tried for some time but that was not working well so i need to remove that and now let's talk about some other things first of all the status bar icons which has the wo wi-fi icon available you can customize this wo wi-fi icon volte icons and everything and this is working perfectly fine i'm using wo wi-fi wo wi-fi it's working fine here Let's talk about the battery backup first of all. The idle drain is only 0.21% per hour and active drain is almost or less than 9% per hour so it's quite good. Screen on 7 hours and 40 minutes it's 28% still left here. My battery duration is quite good here you can see here whole stats are available. The battery backup seems to be really nice let me show you by going into settings and go to battery options. More than 7 hours of screen on time and it's 28% still left and let me show you my battery usage graph here this is the battery usage graph which is i'm not saying it's just great kind of battery backup but with the default kernel the battery backup seems to be really nice and normal one decent one going for the things as it was expected that you'll see the google pixel feed available as a pre-installed thing google pixel launcher is a pre-installed launcher which includes the same kind of things overview suggestions and some things like that Overall the animations are quite smooth here after using some standard phase any major lags instead of just that wallpaper but one thing I have noticed if you compare it with some other rooms the first room which comes to my mind after using this one is the Corvus OS. Corvus OS was quite good but Corvus OS performance is quite far better than this one. This room performance is good. Let's take a look at some uh, settings which you get here by default pixel den which includes some customization it includes an call vibration lock screen related to some customization status bar related to some customizations also include a little bit of things like buttons these customizations are enough because this is a pixel based custom room so this seems to be nice also let me share with you one thing if I go here and if I turn on the keyboard you can see no spacer behind this keyboard and this keyboard is working perfectly fine so this seems to be really nice after after using some custom rooms we had this IME spacer bug available in the G board now in this build there is no there and I'm using the full skin gestures without even using a magic module so this seems to be nice I also checked the Bluetooth Bluetooth was working fine not sure about the Bluetooth media because I don't have any kind of Bluetooth earphones or headphones sorry for that I was not able to test that but Bluetooth etc it seems to be working fine because as you can see watch is connected which means that my Bluetooth watch is working fine here so I have no issues here notification history and everything else is seems to be same here going for the display just swipe down and here you will see some theming options available like you can customize your ASIN color by going here we have many ASIN color customizations there are many there are many there are many just click here if you want to apply the razor color let me try out yes you can see this is changed now like this we have the primary color we have uh, the other colors like fonts customizations which includes many fonts by default you also have the google sense fonts but if you want to apply this google sense font these were not changed because you also get the by default prints by default google sense so that's why it will not change 
and talking about the Ubuntu, the fonts are changed. So fonts etc are working perfectly fine. Sound storage etc same here. Face unlock is present there. If you want to try out the face lock, this is available here. It does not include the app lock. I was looking for that, but it's not available here. Also, let me show you about this one. Phone is not encrypted. I'm not I'm not sure actually that it has encryption bug or not, but maybe it has because my phone is actually encrypted. But in this room, the phone is not encrypted. Xiaomi parts includes the same kind of things, Mi Sound Enhancer and Display Color Calibration, but doesn't include the USB fast charge, which should be available there. The thing seems to be same here. Include the screenshot and select option available. Swipe right have the clear all option. Everything seems to be same here. No extra things are available. These were the things I just wanted to let you know. Let me show you one or two more things which are just left here. First of all, the thing which I was looking to show you is the Geekbench score. 305 is the single core and 1281 is the multi core. I don't believe in these scores, but yes, if you need them, this is the single core comparison. 307 is the average one, 305 in this bid, which is of course down and also same kind of with the average one, 1277, but in this time we got 1281, so which means it's far better than the normal one, but it's not that much great. We have a lot of other custom rooms available, which has a better score than this one. Not sure about the scores, but the room is quite good and satisfactory. If you want to try it out, the link for this build is in the description. This is all. Thanks for watching and goodbye.